Hey guys, um, today I was just going to do a tutorial on how to do the bullet casing that I did in this video right here. This one right here. And so, um, but this time I'm going to do like a 9mm kind of casing, a uh, pistol casing basically. Any pistol will have this type of casing opposed to the other. And so this is what casing I was basing it off of, just looking at it. It's going to have to go in, come back out, and go out. Um, you can get into detail, um, but I'm not going to. And make this thing right here, the silver. Um, all you're going to need to do is make a disc. Um, I have Cinema 4D up, but if it does crash, I will start this over. and Or not start it over, but start where I left off. I will be saving often. You don't have to save as much as I do, probably. It's just I'm running off of a laptop, so I don't have as much RAM as I would normally. Um, so what you're going to do first is you're going to have a screen like this, and you're going to hit F4, and it goes into the front view, as you can see. Um, then you're going to go over to the spline, go to B spline, go down three or you don't even have to go down three you can go down two alright so I'm gonna start right here I'm gonna click I'm gonna go over three and click and I'm actually gonna switch over to my trackpad just cuz that parts easier you're gonna click right here make it kinda curved now you're gonna go out just to a, a little bit above you're gonna use this um, Go down a little bit, curve it in like so. Then you're going to do the same thing, click off to the side, you're going to drag it out, drag it down, and click out to the side again, and drag it back down. Alright, so that's basically what the bottom of the shell looked like on that picture. Um, you're going to come up to whatever you think is good. I'm going to go up uh, roughly three and click right there. And to make it hollow, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to make mine hollow. You're going to click right there and just make it straight again. Then you're going to click right here. Um, and curve it but move it back so it's straight um, then come down to roughly there um, this is a really rough sketch it doesn't have to be perfect um, Oh uh, crap. Um all right, so yeah, right here and just make a rough sketch of what you want it to look like. All right, so that's decent enough for me. So I'm going to go over here, save as I'm going to just save over this one cuz this one messed up. All right. So it's saved right now, and all you see is this. So you're going to hit F1, you're going to see that, and then you're going to go over to this one right here. You're going to click Lath NURBS. Um, you're going to take the spline that you made until it has the down arrow and do that. What that's doing is it's just creating the bullet casing, basically. And then you're going to click on the NURB. I sound retarded saying NURBS, but then you're going to rotate it. I'm going to hold shift down so I can get an exact 90 easily. And I'm going to spin around. Alright, so now I'm looking at it straight on. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to move this down, looking like that. Move this in a little bit. And there you go. This is pretty much all you need to do. Um, if you want 
anything other than that um, or you're gonna have to do color you're gonna have to do color but you can do color I, I believe in you you can do color um, so that's the bullet um, I'll do a real quick material this is definitely not what it's supposed to look like because I'm just doing a real fast yellow and reflection um, do it uh, orangey color but you get the point and press that look at that look how pro that bullet looks um, and the one thing I did tell you that I was not going to do but you can is you can go over here and I know it looks dumb but when you click on that it goes away um, so you can go over here you can go right here where the light is go oh wait not lot not light my bad go over to here where the cube is go to disk take it um, this way you're gonna rotate it up I'm I guess I'll just do it um, oh crap now you're gonna go back over here move it right there roughly you can fix it in a second just center it up kind of get it as good as you can it doesn't really matter now you're gonna get this not that wrong one this right here resize it and you're gonna click this and do that now when you look at it in the render uh, it's still messed up. Oops, sorry. Um, Alright, now when you look at it in the render, it looks like that. You can connect them by um, selecting children or making it an editable object, then going to objects, connect and delete. You can do that and make it one object. But just for this video, I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to show you what the bullet casing looks like overall. And there you go. That is all you have to do. It is really simple, as you can see. Um, so thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please comment, rate, and subscribe.